Welcome fellow folders to a brand new video and first of all I'm way impressed by two things that if you didn't already know I had previously closed my PO box um, quite a few months ago but I am still receiving them today so I might as well keep advertising it as it is basically costing me nothing at the moment and two this came from New Zealand that's right next to Australia and this is probably the furthest thing that has ever been sent to me I just I cannot believe that this has came from New Zealand it is unreal I want to thank whoever this is at the moment thank you so much this is unreal I am so excited to see what is inside this this mystery paper box and of course I have blurred out the sender's address um, on the back as well. I, I can of course show mine. This is the Organic Bio Box. Uh, it's up on the screen. If you want to send me things, you can send it to that address and I will receive it like this. Even though it is closed, I am still receiving them um, to this day, which is quite fascinating. Okay, Looper wants in, so I need to stop recording. I just started it anyway. Now, before I open this, I, I literally just got the idea of good way to try and fill up my paper collection more and I was I, I had thought previously that those who are buying uh, who are selling paper I can buy from them and then I can take little snippets and fill them up in here but of all the paper that I have received through my, my organic PO box I could take little parts of those and fill up in the collection. I think that would be a really good way to fill this up a lot faster so that is exactly what I'm going to do so I'm so glad I thought of that idea so now that's on the screen now to open this mystery container it did say origami um, on the information but I have large that so I want to just put on some gloves my fancy white gloves and then we will really take our time unboxing now of course before I pull out whatever is inside here I'm going to do it off camera to make sure that there is no addresses or information on the inside any letters that contain information from the sender as I do not want to reveal anything that I shouldn't so let's I think it's probably best if I just take a little cup here. Wait, can I pull it up? No, I don't to try. Yeah. I'm going to put it here actually. I'm just trying to push this bubble up. I'm still. So this came all the way from New Zealand. Must have been on at least a 24 hour flight straight to the UK. This is just insane. And if you didn't already know, I'm using the other side of my cutting mat. I thought why not try this side for a change and see how it looks. You can let me know how you think of it in the description. Well, I'm going to always say in the description. Let me know what you think of it. Yes, this is... Okay, maybe I should have opened it. In fact, I don't need to actually do it from the other side. Maybe I should reopen it if I am constantly getting these set into me. So before I pull out this parcel, I'm just going to have a quick look off camera to make sure there's nothing. No, I don't see anything. Oh, no, there's no information on it. Okay, so, and the scissors. Okay, and the count of three, we're going to take out this cardboard box, which is on the count of three. One, two, three. I'll double check it um, after I start filming to make sure there's nothing 
hidden in the bubble wrap. So we have origami as cool. You are indeed correct. This is the most exciting part because I have absolutely no clue what is inside this. Origami is cool, it is indeed fascinating. Okay, so let's open up. Okay, how do we open this up? Is it the sides first? Must be if you can't pull it out here. Again, I'm going to quickly look off camera to make sure there's no. Okay, there's a letter, but it's, it's blank. So let's open this up. <laughs> let's see what we have inside. So let's put this to the side. And what do we have here? Wow! Some vehicles. A vehicle from the looks. Let's take it this one. How cool is that? Now, I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I'm not sure who this is by, who this is from. Oh, it's so cool. I don't have a vehicle. I've got the tow matter, which is a sort of, which is a vehicle, but I don't have any other ones. Who is this model by? This is fascinating, this design. This is so cool. Wow, this, this is all the way from New Zealand. This is all the way from around the world. The other side of the world this is from. This has traveled many, many miles to get here. New Zealand. Wow, that is so cool. I need to find out who the designer of that is. I've never seen this model before. And it's a very 3D model. It's a very round model. It looks complicated for the, the sh for the size of the model. It is definitely so cool. I'm going to get loads of pictures of this. How fascinating is that? I've never and it's so cool. I've never seen this model before. Well, wow, thank you so much. Thank you so 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 much. Next we have. Do have here. Is this is this part of the vehicle? Maybe, oh, a sleigh. Is that a Santa sleigh? I'm, I'm thinking it's that. It looks like it because you hold it like that. It looks like a sleigh. I was thinking it. It was something like <laughs> something like that. <laughs> That's actually quite cool as well. A little cover. I'm pretty sure that is a sleigh. That's fascinating as well. I've never seen this before. This is so beautiful. It's so delicate as well. I'm still so excited that this has came from halfway around the world. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. There will be many more thank yous for this. We have Oh, the classic water bomb. It's been near enough, like nine years since I last made one of these. When I made my first ever origami collection video, I had like seven of these in it and I misspelled it. Oh, oh no, no, I almost, I don't want to, I almost squished it there. I misspelled it and I missed out the B at the end. Or is it the E? I can't remember. And I and added an E, I can't, I can't remember, but very cool. Thank you very much. It's so tiny as well. And I can't remember how to make these. It's been that long that it's gone from my memory. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. And we have, of course, the crane. 
Now, for my origami bonsai tree, I am making 307 cranes. I will include yours and the finished product, and I'm so excited to see how this turns out. So, thank you so much for your contribution to this project of mine. It will fit in perfectly. Very beautiful. Like we have where it all began with the simple crane. And you have anything else? Okay, there's a bit of paper there. Means it. Okay, it's an email address. Okay, so that's fine. So we have three bits of paper, which I will add to my collection. So there's nothing else in the box. So we can get rid of that. Then I believe this is tan paper. If we have anything in this is folded in half. Let me just check off camera. No, there's nothing in that. So I believe this is tan paper. No, yeah, I think it is. Looks like it. It must be the same paper as the crane. And then I believe this is tan paper as well. So again, thank you very much for the paper and the models. And I will need to make something out of this. I can treat this, I can turn it into something. So I will fold this up. And I'm just going to read what's on the letter. I'm going to open up first to make sure there's nothing in it. Okay, there's no information. Okay, no, just... okay, so right, I can show this. So in the letter we have this is so cool. Folded by Sebastian. He is nine years old. A nine year old made this car. How cool is that? That is so nice. Thank you so much, Sebastian. This truly means the world to have your work, your models, your paper in my possession that I will take care of forever. Thank you so much, Sebastian. So we have the convertible car by Jason Koo. Oh, that is, that's Jason Koo's model. I never knew he had a convertible car. Wow, that's... Thank you very much for letting me know that. And the Santa sleigh by Jonah Kashima. So thank you so much. This is the Santa sleigh by Jonah Kashima. So if you, if you have never made this model before, I would suggest you follow his tutorial. I'm gonna guess he has a tutorial. And of course, make the convertible car by Jason Koo. Maybe there's a diagram, I'll, I'll have a look. We have a folded foil house by me, which is cool, it's covered in tape to protect it. We have no glue used, which is perfect. This is pure origami, one sheet of paper, and set folds, which is cool. And he's done a little intricate way of pattern on the paper. So Sebastian, thank you so much. I have your email address here. I will get in uh, I will get in contact with you. To again, thank you so much more for sending me your models and your love for paper folding. I can, I'm so happy that you are folding from such a young age. You have done a tremendous job. Your parents will be very proud of you and keep folding, keep loving origami and keep making amazing models Sebastian so thank you very much for everything that you have done let's put let's put the crane in the driver's seat oh can't see him oh, wait that's, that's the wrong way it's this way so the crane is oh no he fell out Ah. There. The 
train is driving. So again, thank you so much Sebastian. This truly means the world that you have sent me this, especially from all the way from New Zealand. I just can't get over that fact. It's traveled near enough halfway around the world to get to me and I cannot appreciate the amount of effort that, that you have put into everything here. That has been incredible seeing your models and your skill from such a young age. Keep doing origami Sebastian and thank you so much. And thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Why did I keep doing that?